I have come to the realization that I have no hobbies. I mean, I have a YouTube channel. That's fun. That's exciting. I love drinking coffee. I love hanging out with my birds. And I love going for a walk when the sun is out. You know, classic human stuff. But I want to do more in my spare time. All I'm doing is just scrolling through the same rotation of apps, trying to find that dose of serotonin for hours on end. Like, that literally sucks. That sucks. So I thought that I would use this video today to try out a bunch of hobbies, both old and new, to reignite that spark in my life again. It sounds really depressing. Oh my god. Plus, hobbies are so important for you. Like, they help you grow, they challenge you, they give us excitement and joy, and plus, they're really, really fun. Like, I loved having hobbies when I was growing up. I loved the creative outlet it gave me. You have a lot of emotions when you're a teenager, and I had so many hobbies to, like, cater for those emotions. But since my early 20s, and now I'm in my mid-20s, my hobbies have become non-existent. They do not exist. They're nowhere to be seen. Like, no wonder I'm feeling sad about life right now because I don't have any hobbies. I just scroll and then feel sorry for myself. Now, my first hobby I'm going to try out is pottery. Now, this would have been so cool and aesthetic and amazing if I had a pottery class to go to, but I don't. I live in the middle of nowhere. So I decided to get the next best thing, and that is a DIY kit from Kmart. I mean, pretty much the exact same thing. This was only $10. So this is going to be an experience, good or bad, I don't know. Now, originally I was going to make this pot on the front because that's what this is for, but I want to go against the grain here and make myself little trinket trays because I personally don't need any more vases. I don't need any more. I've got too many. Well, I'm going to roll my sleeves up because it says not to get in contact with any clothing. I've never done pottery in my life, so I've got no idea what I'm doing. This is probably going to turn out really bad. Okay, there's the jug, but it's got a wall hanger, a jewelry dish. You see that? Oh my god, I can make a quirky mug. I'm gonna make a trinket tray. Okay, I've got a placemat and I got a rolling pin, so I don't ruin my little my little setup going on here. Placemat. Stunning. I literally just did my nails this morning. So this is probably not the best time to do pottery, but YOLO. Get my rolling pin and we're just gonna roll this bad boy out. That's pretty good. We've got a nice flat bit of clay there. Stunning. Using your needle. I don't have a needle, but I have this. I'm just gonna like do a tracing. Oh yeah, stunning. And I guess I'm just gonna, how do I? Wait, this is a technique, I've got it. I've got the technique. This is really fun though. I'm having a great time. Like, you know when a kid holds a pencil really funny? There's so much excess here. I should probably make like another little one. How do I smooth the edges out? That's my concern. Do I just, oh yes, okay. I'm gonna roll this part out and try and make another one, like a mini one, so it has a friend. <laughs> These do not look like trays. Look at my hands. Oh my gosh. After reading the instructions very thoroughly, this underglaze and glaze is only for if you're firing them, if you're putting them in a kiln. But I do not have one of those. I'm going to put them outside so they can air dry and then we'll get to painting them. I'm actually so excited. A few minutes later. It's been like three hours and they are stiff and not going anywhere. This one turned out so cute, loving it. But this one I accidentally left like a little bit bent. It's not like the best coaster because it will like make noise and be annoying. But this one turned out so, so cute. I love this. So I am just going to paint them now. I got these paintbrushes from Kmart like ages ago. So I'm just going to use these. And then I just have these acrylic paint sets that I also got from Kmart. Why am I kind of nervous? <laughs> I don't want to stuff it up. That's why I'm nervous. Like I don't want to ruin this. Well, let's try and mix. Oh, that's... I ruined it. Oh my gosh. Maybe I can just paint over it in white and it'll be like it was never there. No, that's so obvious. <laughs> I feel like I need to paint this whole thing white now so that it makes sense because what have I actually done here? Ooh. Hey. 
Okay, I'm sitting outside in my little outdoor area kind of thing with the microphone on because outdoors is really loud. There's a person cutting down a tree down down there somewhere. The wild birds are so loud. The neighbor's dog is going off. So hopefully this microphone is helping eliminate a lot of that background noise. The grandmas are onto something because gardening is so therapeutic, so rewarding. Watching like a little seedling or a little thing, a little plant just flower and grow and turn into something so gorgeous. So I kind of get it. The nanas are onto something. So I went to Bunnings. I got some flowers, which are over there. Let me go grab them. Hope I don't stand on a bee. That's not going to be good. So I got some little daisies. These are little white ones. And then I also got some in the yellow as well because I'm loving yellow for spring this year. Like I'm just, I'm really, really loving it. But before I plant my flowers, I'm going to paint these terracotta pots that I got from Bunnings for like $9. $10, they weren't that expensive, they were good. I went to Spotlight the other day and I got some white acrylic paint. Now that I'm looking at this, I don't think this is gonna be enough paint to paint this whole thing. And I have this teeny tiny little paintbrush. I don't even know where to begin. I guess we're just gonna, oh my God, that's coming out very fast. Oh, this won't be so bad. I might need to do like a double coat, but it's gonna be so fine. But I should have bought like a little palette with me. Instead, I'm using the tablecloth. It was only like $10 from Kmart, it's okay. This is actually so much fun. Like I could have just bought a white pot and then paint like little cherries or flowers on it. But there's something more personalized about painting it yourself. It just feels, I don't know, it feels so much better. I'm glad that I did this. It's all about the journey to the end result. And the end result may not be perfect, but it's about the good times you had. I don't know what I'm saying. You know what? I just had the best idea ever. You know, like paint and sip picnics? Well, imagine like paint and sip, but you paint a pot, like for the whole picnic. Then you just sit there with your friends and laugh and talk while you paint a flower pot. And then once everything dries, you take home like little seeds of like flowers or veggies or whatever. And then all your friends can grow these little flowers and you can do it all together and it'll be like a sign of your friendship. And then if the plant dies, well then the friendship mm. dies. No. Okay, we're looking pretty good. I don't even know how I'm gonna move this. I don't think I can move this. <laughs> I think we're stuck here. Okay, well I'm gonna do the other pot now. I think this is so fun. I want everyone to experience this once in their life. Like this is so fun. got my microphone it's inside and I can't be bothered going to get it but the pots are dry which means I now get to paint whatever I want to paint on them I don't actually know what I'm gonna paint I'm gonna try and make like a pink color similar to this V it's not bad I don't mind that okay I've decided I don't want to do pink I don't know what I'm doing I want to do green yes we're loving that green stunning I think I'm just gonna try my best and paint like little flowers on this I don't know how well it's gonna go but I'm just gonna take it slow that's all you can do and it doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be a masterpiece something like that that's a cute little flower It's so bright, it's so loud, hence why I've got my microphone back on. I can't even see. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and put on my gardening gloves now because it's time to pot my flowers. I'm gonna need like a little bit of soil put in there. So BRB, while I go fill this up with soil, I'm just literally getting the soil out of my garden. Nothing special. Okay, I'm back. Soil in the pots. I'm really excited about these daisies because they are full sun and they require little water. So hopefully I won't be able to kill these. Hopefully, there's like a little trick to this. You gotta squeeze the sides. I'm not strong enough for gardening. How did the nanas do this? I also can't really see, so that's... I'm gonna take these over to my garden and fill them up with soil properly. These are gonna be so cute. Okay, welcome to my garden. This is a nectarine tree. She's absolutely flourishing. She's gonna look gorgeous. I don't know if this is in camera, but we've got some blueberries here and they are flowering. They look amazing. Just gonna pack in some more soil. We've just been letting our garden like rejuvenate itself. Like we took all the plants out and we've just let the soil kind of do its thing. So it should be pretty fresh. I don't know what I'm actually doing. I don't know if that's good or not. Guys, I'm kind of sweating out here. It's very hot. I don't know why I wore my pajamas while doing this, but anyways, is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? That is stunning. The pots are a little dirty. I probably should have like 
coated them with something first instead of just going straight for the planting and the potting but honestly it's fine all right i've got to fill up my watering can off we go over here oh my god you guys are so far away <laughs> But honestly, just like bring the hose over, but where's the fun in that? Give them a nice water in their fresh new pots. These haven't had a water in a couple of days, so I'm just going to give them a little drenching. I cannot wait for these to flourish. If you guys have any like plant tips, do let me know. One of the hobbies that I'm going to be trying today is some form of physical activity that I'm really nervous about because I've never done this before. A lot of people like to run for their hobbies. A lot of people like to walk for their hobbies or work out. And I could not be bothered running today. That was not on the agenda. So I'm going to do the next best thing and I am going to try Pilates. I've done like mat Pilates before. And that's fun. It's pretty much like yoga, but like intense. But this is actual like reformer Pilates with the machine. I've never done this before. I'm so nervous. What the hell? I've always wanted to be like a Pilates girly that goes like every Sunday. So I can't exactly be what I want to be if I haven't actually done the thing that I want to do. That makes sense. Oh my God. So I went ahead and I booked one singular class for me today. And I don't really know what I'm expecting. I'm expecting a lot of pain, but I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. And maybe this is going to be a hobby that I might like in the future. I'm I love this so much and I might continue on and be a Pilates girly. I've got my bag full of things. I feel like Pilates girlies always have bags full of things. Like I don't know what's in their bags, but they've always got things going on. Former Pilates. I honestly feel really good. Like I feel amazing. I get why the girlies do it. I feel so good. I got my juice. I'm feeling happy. But I got a juice for me and Tyler and I gave it to him. He told me that I looked really happy, really vibey. And I was like, would I recommend Pilates as a hobby? Girl, if you can afford it, absolutely. I, I think it's so good. And whenever I have a spare $30, I am definitely gonna do a class there. Like just one singular class. Count me in. Like that sounds so fun. Okay, I'm back from the supermarket. I am going to fill up my little vase with some fresh new flowers. Plus we really needed some new flowers. Like our old ones were dead. They were beyond dead, they were gone. That is a bit tall. We need to do some trimming. All right, I hacked at them with a knife. Kids do not try that at home, please. Um, I am an adult, I shouldn't be doing that, but I did. I mean, it's not a hobby, but it did light up my day. Washed my hands because we're gonna do some baking, which I have been obsessed with recently like i have loved baking i mean you guys saw me make cinnamon scrolls which if you haven't you totally should i'll leave the card up here it's a fun video and then recently i made like a little strawberry cake it's still in the fridge love it so much but today i saw this photo and i am inspired i want to make them plus i'm really hungry so i wouldn't mind a little sweet treat you know a little sweet treat i bought these little donut cinnamon bite things because i thought it would be a lot easier instead of like measuring out all the flour and baking powder and everything um i don't know if that's cheating or not but anyway i have these little silicon donut molds that i got from kmart so we'll be using them today we need one egg but i'm really off egg at the moment i don't know why i'm just i'm really hating eggs so a good substitute for egg i heard is applesauce so i'm gonna be using applesauce i am also dairy free so i'll be using this oat milk i've got vegetable oil which the recipe needs i've got some vanilla i also got some little sprinkles from spotlight and i got these little flowers as well because i want to make them spring and cute you know obviously i've actually really been enjoying baking recently i think it's so much fun it's so therapeutic like i really do understand this hobby and why people do it like it's a lot of fun you get a little sweet treat afterwards i don't know it just takes up your time really nicely like you're not in a rush you're just chilling i'm just gonna estimate that that's an egg maybe a little bit more where's my spatula stir gently but do not over mix. Okay. I'm just going to put that 
I find this part like the hardest part of baking because I just, I never know if it's going to look right. Like I'm a little bit nervous. Like what if it looks like shit? <laughs> Nine out of 10 times, cooking is all about trust the process. Like this looks shocking right now. A little bit scary, but I know it'll be so fine. So I'm gonna put them into the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, the timer just went off, so a moment of truth. They're not too bad. They're pretty good. I've just gotta let them cool now. We have one donut out. Now, five more to go. All right, I'll let these cool for about 10 minutes. That should be fine now. I'm gonna remix the icing. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one looks so good. <gasps> no. Okay, this one fell to bits a little bit. <laughs> um, That's not supposed to happen. I really just need to grab the icing and just put it on. That's the best way to do this because the icing is so thick and so sticky that it like rips apart my donuts. I made it too thick and sticky, lesson learnt, but we like them thick. These are so cute. Except that one. We're gonna ignore that. They turned out so much better than I thought they would. Like they're still not the best, obviously with like these bits and bobs. But I can totally understand the baking hobby because it's so fulfilling when things turn out right. Like I'm so impressed. Okay, so in school, I loved art. I was an art freak, geek, and everything in between. Like, I loved art. Watercolors, especially. So, I went out of my way and got myself some watercolors from Kmart. Just a little $10 tin, nothing special. I got myself a little canvas pad to paint on and some brushes. I literally haven't done watercoloring since high school. I'm just gonna let the page take me and I'm just gonna enjoy my afternoon. It's currently 4.30 in the afternoon. The sun is coming in so nicely. It's reflecting off my disco ball. It's a complete vibe is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just gonna sit here in watercolor and I hope you guys enjoy it. The main thing I love about watercoloring is the fact that it does not need to be perfect. Literally draw a little circle like that. And because it's watercolor, it will dry so pretty. Like, I don't know why watercolor just seems so aesthetically pleasing to me. It just hits, you know? I don't know how to explain it, but it just hits. And I also love with watercolor that you don't have to be like Picasso. I haven't done watercolor for eight years. I am very rusty, but it's just so much fun and it's so relaxing. flowers I did here I mean I literally just drew little shapes and hoped for the best like this one didn't turn out okay but this one did but also it kind of didn't you know what I mean like it's literally just shapes but they look like little flowers it's cute completely ruined the watermelon the lemon it needs some work the strawberries they're cute the blueberries cute the cherries could have been better but I am loving this like I'm definitely going to incorporate watercolor into my probably daily routine if I'm honest because I feel so relaxed right now. I feel so good. And like I could draw a million cherries and I'd be so happy. Yeah, I'm feeling so good, rejuvenated, stunning. You know, I am a firm believer of the grass is greener where you water it. And that is exactly how I'm feeling right now. Like before this video, I was comparing myself to everyone else's grass, seeing how beautiful and green and watered it was. And I was like, why does my grass look so crispy and dry? I can guarantee right now, if you are feeling miserable and dull and not happy with your life, please, 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 please take the time to find something that you love doing or try something new, try a hobby, try any of these things that I tried in today's video because I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. If I'm honest, life is all about the small little moments. And if you don't cherish those small little moments while you're chasing your big moments, then life is gonna feel so pointless. Life is gonna feel so sad and so... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, lose. We will lose ourselves and our happiness if we just forget about them. If we just do not think about the little moments and push them to the side. Like, they're so important. I filmed this video over the course of three days. And this being the third day, I can confirm that my back is very sore from Pilates. But I'm feeling so fulfilled. I'm feeling so happy. I feel so good. Whereas four days ago, before I started filming this video, I was feeling so lost. I felt so unhappy. I felt so unsatisfied. I felt like a shell of a person. Like I just wasn't 
me. I just was not me. I felt like I was just on autopilot. But after taking the time to romanticize and slow down and try these little hobbies and things and make it all about me again in the little ways, I'm feeling so good. Like I was so nervous for Pilates. I was so nervous to try pottery because I thought I was gonna fuck it up. But it was so fine. Take this as your sign to try something that you've always wanted to try. Whether that's knitting, sewing, Pilates, cooking, baking, scrapbooking, painting, watercoloring. There's endless hobbies out there. Like it can be anything. You should water your own grass. Everyone else's grass is gonna appear greener if you're not watering your own grass obviously and hopefully this video helped in giving you any ounce of inspiration motivation ideas even for something that you can try or something that you can rediscover and bring back into your life so i hope you guys enjoyed the video today if you did don't forget to give me a like and subscribe down below and don't forget to check out my other videos as well because not only do you support me but you have a great time we have a good time over here anyway i'm gonna love you and leave you guys i will see you in my video next sunday so bye